And we begin 10 TV News at 5 a.m. with some breaking news. A man is now in handcuffs after police say he threatened to blow up a neighborhood. Yeah, that's right. This, we're talking about a standoff here. It happened along Cassidy Avenue in North Columbus, and that's where we find 10 TV's Laura Borchers. Laura, very scary moments, obviously, for these neighbors here. Absolutely, Tina. You know, right at 430, I was talking with the lieutenant on the scene, and she confirmed right at that point that they had taken a man into custody, and she had very few details that she could officially say at that point. Now, I talked to her again just a matter of a couple moments ago, and she says now that not only do they have him in custody, but they can say with great certainty that the man did not ever have a bomb inside the home, although that is what he was telling police officers, that he had a bomb, he was prepared to blow up the people in this neighborhood here around Cassidy Avenue, as well as police officers themselves. You're taking a look now at some of the video on the scene here near 12th. We're told that there is, there was a couch that barricaded the front door, a man refusing to come out. He had talked with police officers saying that he was going to blow up the neighborhood. Now we're told that he indicated that he had that bomb inside in the basement area. However, police officers after conversations with him were so certain that he did not have a bomb that we as a news crew never saw the bomb squad out here at all. We did see SWAT officers, however. Now again, after talking with that lieutenant, I can tell you that there were no weapons found inside the home that backed up anything this man was saying. We do have his name, but police officers are asking us not to release that just yet. They're talking with his family members. We can tell you, however, this is a man who was familiar to police officers. He had been involved in certain incidents before, and we're going to have more on that coming up in just 30 minutes. Reporting live, I'm Laura Borchers, 10 TV News.